Hi, I'm Ray Ridley of Ridley Engineering, and welcome to this short video on our four-day hands-on power supply design workshop. Over the years, over 1,200 engineers have attended our workshops, and you might be wondering what kind of uh, qualifications they have and whether you should be coming to this. And it's really quite a range that we find. About 30% um, of our attendees are new power designers in their first zero to five years of doing power supplies. 25% are what I would call experience, that's 5 to 15 years of experience. 25% are seasoned power supply engineers with 15 to 25 years of experience. And about 15% of our attendees are very experienced power designers. And you'll find if you come to this course there's really something for everybody. Since it's a hands-on workshop, you get in as much into it, as much out of it as you, as you put in. And you will thoroughly enjoy yourself regardless of your level of experience. Workshop agenda. In the mornings we cover theory, and in the afternoon you're going to receive course boards like this one. And uh, on here is a controller, input caps, switch, diodes, output caps. But the most important parts are missing. That's the magnetics that plug into these sockets here, and the control loop components that plug in here. And your, your job over the four days of this course are to populate the magnetics and to populate the control and to measure the efficiency and the loop gains of two different power supplies. So day one, we talk about different power supply topologies, and then we move immediately into inductor design and transformer design. And unlike most approaches on magnetics, you'll find that our approach gives you a lot of clarity into the magnetics design process, and you'll find it's really quite a simple procedure to design good magnetics for your switching power supplies. In the afternoon, in the lab, you will build the transformer for a 24 watt flyback converter. And you'll add snubber designs after you put the transformer in there and characterized it. And then by the end of just a four hours of lab, you will have a full power flyback converter operating and you'll measure the efficiency. And usually we have a little competition between the different benches to see who comes out with the best magnetic and the best overall efficiency. And day two. In the morning, we'll talk about the theory, the, the more advanced theory of magnetics designs, getting into skin effect, proximity effect, different winding arrangements for regulation requirements, gap loss, and magnetics capacitance, which is also a function of the arrangements of the windings. And in the afternoon, you'll move on to a different circuit, and now you'll build both an inductor and a transformer for a 60 watt forward converter. Then you'll add snubbers to the circuit, and at the end of the day, the second day, you'll have a full power forward converter operating and you'll measure the efficiency of that converter. And again, we'll have a little competition between the benches to see who does the, does the best job. On day three, we move on to control. So now you've got your working power stage, you have to control it properly. And so we'll talk about small signal modeling, the PWN switch model, uh, voltage mode control in both continuous and discontinuous conduction mode, and then moving on to feedback loop design to op optimize the converter. Afternoon lab on day three, we'll continue with the 60 watt forward converter. You'll design the loop gain components after you've measured the power stage and characterized that. And then you'll look at uh, the output impedance, look at step load responses, and you go through optimization processes to, give, to find if you can get better performance while, while having reasonable phase and gain margin in your system. Day four, in the morning we'll talk about current mode control, which is the most dominant form of control for PWM converters. And uh, although it's fairly simple to implement, we find that it's fairly complex modeling and we have to do some discrete time modeling to explain the subharmonic oscillation and to properly get the gain and phase curve of the power stage. Once we have that, we do the current mode loop design compensation. And then in the lab in the afternoon, we work with the flyback power stage, and we're using current mode control, optimize the loop gain, look at the output impedance, look at the transient response, and again, go through an optimization process for the loop. So it's a very intense four days of design, doing both magnetics and control. And the main, main objective of this to course is to, is to make you a faster and more efficient power supply designer. We give you design procedures for both the magnetics and the control loop, which will take the guesswork out of it, and you'll find that you'll be able to put together converters much faster than you were before you came to the course. So if you're interested in attending, we'd love to see you at our workshop, 
And if you go to RidleyEngineering.com and click on the Workshop tab, you get details of our upcoming design workshops. We only accept a maximum of 27 attendees at each workshop, so if you want to come, please make sure that you sign up early once you see the course announcement. Thank you for watching.